Hello there. My name is Verzi. And I'm Simon. And welcome back to... Not in the Woods. <laughs> See if there's any computer talk. Can't remember if we did this at the end of the last one or not. Apparently we did. Apparently we did. Why? I guess we're just heading to bed then. Mm-hmm. That's right. I remember we were going to save the dream for the next episode. Glad one of us does. Bedtime? Yes time. Yes time. Me too, May. For real. You don't even, like, work or anything. Why are you so... So... Ah! Just being ah. alive is exhausting. I've been alive for a while now, and it's the worst. Yeah, but if I don't do anything that day, I'm not usually so exhausted with life I am. that I can't even stay upright while I'm taking my shoes off. I am. Give me that. Whee. An eclipse. Ooh. What the? A ghost fish. Big old giant ghost fish. And there goes a bird, I think. It was upside down. Yep. Wee for me, ghost fish. What have we got? Violin. Nothing else more that way. Ow, dog. Laying in the worst possible way. Is that Greg? Bye, Greg. I don't know if it was Greg. It looked kind of like a bird still. I thought I saw ears. Way. Give me that light. Ooh, here we go. Tuber! This tuber has a little plus on it. Light. Why does she always dream about the same instruments and the same people playing them? Because they're good. I mean, I'm not arguing that. I don't know. Maybe there are people that she knew in college. Or high school, Nothing I guess. That way. Part of the student band. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought I would be able to make it up on that. Ooh, there we go. Accordion. What are we missing? Trumpet or something? Mm, I don't remember. What saxophone. Was. Saxophone. I knew it was some sort of brass, but I guess saxophone is technically a woodwind. Oh, that looks There's, like B. Yeah. Subconscious is being especially weird today. Yeah. Okay. Which is saying something. You might be able to jump over onto those little chimneys and then up over over. Let's give it a go. Is that you? Bye, you. Oops. Maybe Angus. jump happy, I suppose. I don't want to fall off again. There we go. I should, oh, I guess I can't go left. Mm -hmm. uh, loop. Hi, ghost fish. I wonder if the 
weird building signifies anything, or if it's just this is how we felt like doing the level design. I don't know. There he is. There he is. I don't remember where we started. Me either. Whoop. Okay. Thought I was gonna die. Well, not die, but. Oh, hey! There. That was like the best dream we've done yet. Whoa. A bird with a fish. A heron with a fish. Turning into stars. Or light. Or something. May, what do your dreams mean? I don't know. I had a bunch of dreams about Disneyland last night. Well. Yeah. It's been a while since I had my last Disney dream. I had a dream that we were needed to go back into Disneyland, but they had a rule where you had to have the person with you that bought the tickets, and my dad bought the tickets, and, like, he was busy doing something, and he didn't want to come back, so we, like, sat outside of Disneyland for, like, the whole day, and he never came to let us in. That's dumb. Right? I was super mad. But anyway, that was my dream. But, like, the tickets were, like, registered under his name for some reason. Yeah, everybody's talking to us. Planets are meant to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathleen Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. How does he know what a tire tastes like? You know. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Last night inspired me. For long, for longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. <laughs> Good friends. All right. I still wonder how Greg knows what a tire tastes like. Have you never tasted a tire before? I I cannot say that I have leant over and licked my tires on my car. You haven't lived. Okay. Nothing to say about the family photo today. Hey, bird. Sorry I'm always rude to you. Let's see if mom's around and if she's feeling okay today. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working. Kind of not. Well, maybe you need more sleep? I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with V. That sounds nice. It was. Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. I'm glad Mom's being nice again. Thanks, Mom. Mwah. Oh, we can talk again. Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. Just want to never leave bed. I love them. Nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. I agree with me. All right, I'm out. I was going to say, I can't trust Mom anymore. Bye she doesn't bye, like rainy sweetie. days. I know who doesn't like rainy days. Mwah. Even though you're wrong. Mwah. I know. Still love my mom. She's just wrong about weather. Rainy days are the best. I want 100% rainy days every day. I know, right? We do not live in the right area. Goddamn. The fuck was that noise? I don't know. It was like the music. Duka, 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 duka. Music's getting a little funky on us. Don't really know where I'm heading, but... 
Did I ever? Yeah, I saved it for you. I just don't think I ever sent it to you. Because you wanted this. Oh, yeah, this image. I like it. You can use it as your background since Windows just decided to give you the default background. It did. It was like, you know your side quest background? Nah. Ah, some springs. You're not lost. You're here. All right. Well, there was nothing to do down here, but I'm glad we checked anyway. Yeah, still nothing to do. Don't fall, Meg. Wee, wee. Like we did in the dream. Somehow I feel like it would go a lot worse. Not in the dream. Should we fall from a high height? Cat or not? Is this the first time we've played Night in the Woods since we got the kittens? I don't remember. Because we tend to record these these ones a little bit in advance. Mm-hmm. I don't remember if we've had RMA since playing this. Dent every mailbox. Gotta. I don't think this time there will be the um, constellations with Chazikov. I don't think so, because I think we just did yeah, that. Yeah, I, I want to say we just did that. Hey, Selmers, you were great last night. Ah, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I am good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. This is a short one because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. <laughs> I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. What were you doing that at the That was the whole poem. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> what were you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. Rah, rah, rah. Who is that? I don't know. <laughs> cry. All right. Ra 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 and cry. <laughs> I play a, ban a mean banjo, claw hammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know Long Black Veil? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep. My dad likes that stuff. You know Willer Garden? Nope. Eh. Nice talking to you. At least he didn't yell at you for being on his porch again. Yeah. We're slowly becoming friends. With each conversation. With each time this weird-ass kid just jumps onto his porch. Yeah. Hi. Want to talk? It's all spoopy. We're around Halloween. Music's still spoopy. Look at that little baby raccoon. Aww. Mwah. I kissed it. Ladies. Bird. Bee. Bee. You don't think bees are real? Not this one. Hey, bee. Hey, May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool. But also, maybe it might have consequences. You're one to talk, May. We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So work's not going well. Uh. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Nah, not today. Or actually, yeah, let's do it. Did you want to check with Greg first? Um, or Angus? Yeah. Or we can just do it. I'm... Okay, well, let me know. I mean, will we eventually do all of them anyway? Uh, Probably. Then let's just do it. Okay. Actually, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> she turned around and then turned back. I changed my mind. Let's go. I mean, would you really be that, like, surprised at May? Uh, with you playing her, no. <laughs> <gasps> Spoops. I want to know how my playing her changes her character. Foggy. 
always Oops, I hit that too fast. I'm sorry. I, I got always got that evening feel, and that was, uh, collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. I mean, does it get any better than this? Like a graveyard full of fog? No. That would be rad. That's pretty quiet. Well, there's that statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. <laughs> know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are, like, monumentally screwed right now. And no one in power gives a shit. Or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez. I meant, like, a skeleton or something. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something, and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? A skeleton in your hallway at night, or a skeleton outside your window? I think window would be worse for me. A regular stranger person outside your window. He's smiling, or he's frowning? I would say I smiling. Yeah, smiling is worse. <laughs> and he's from the bank. Oh, come on! He's here to tell you they're going to take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. <laughs> okay, fine, that works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. She's too adult. The scariest stuff like, is like really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb. Let's go. You know what's scary, B? Lung cancer. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna visit, go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally, no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay, it happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. Took a class on death and dying. When I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. Oh. Can I not go up onto this bridge? Okay. I like want to leave her her space, so I'll just go this way, I guess. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Rose, age 95 years. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. Can't really be sad about this, or 95 years, wow. I'd probably say that one. It's a long time. When she was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. She had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Music's getting intense. <laughs> Catherine Fish, taken by flu, 14 years old. Aw, oh, dang. Lived like 14 years. That's not enough time or poor family. I'd probably say poor family. But it was my choice. Okay, I'm just sad now. I wonder how old that is. To have died from the flu. Oh, I thought you meant like how old the person was. I was like 14. <laughs> how old is 14? <laughs> I know, that's like, that's like, uh, Brad Boyson. Bicycle. Bicycle. Ooh, fancy. 
This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He crashed his bike. He was hit by a bike. He loved his bike. Probably that one would be the most likely. He loved it so hard. He smooched it. So right. Jeez, B. How long does a mom visit take? Tick tock, Beatrice. We got places to be. Holy crap. I am a jerk. <laughs> yes, you are, A May. little bit. A little bit, May. Wee. Wee. Guess I'll go back and check on her. Am I going to see something spooky while she's not there to witness and then still no one's going to believe me because I have brain problems? Okay. Look not at yet. me being all respectful and not running in the graveyard. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Only because it's not an option. Hey! Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... Do you know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yeah. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna cave in? What part of sink sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard! They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And, like, voices. Huh. That's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh, yeah, sure. Maybe now you can go up. Yeah. Now I can go up. On a Tuesday. Oh, it's getting dark. It's getting it's real dark. It's real spooky up here. It's getting red. The heck? Is it those fucking teenagers? Oh, well, you know, it might be. The, like, psychic ones. Oh, weary travelers. I don't, can't tell who's saying what, so we can just take turns. You seek answers among the dead. But they shall give you none. Who the hell are you? Mere messengers. Observers. Meddlers. Teens. They're weird teens. Oh. Alright, well... We are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of? We govern who shall pass. And who shall remain. All right, well... Answer us these questions. Truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realm of the dead. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? done it. Or you can just call it sex. I'm gonna say that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer. No or yes. I have no idea. Has May done it or not? Uh, I'll go with no. She doesn't seem like she's done it. I don't know. I don't know. The only serious boyfriend we've ever heard about was um, the raccoon at the party. Yeah. I don't remember his name. Jake? Casey? Casey? I don't, I don't know. remember. But I remember he, like, they it didn't seem to, like they had, like, a bad breakup, but I don't know if they ever got They super did serious. with her. She took the breakup really bad. He yeah. seemed really cool about it. I'll say no. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know about this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? <laughs> I imagine, like, I almost read this as, who did this to you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Oh my god. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do, like, 
math stuff. And camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex? It wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. <laughs> this is boring. I think that one was also you. Uh, next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something, like, spooky at least? Dream date! <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, you'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. <laughs> for, for B, she gets it from all sides. Wrestling. Like, you're gonna wrestle, or you're gonna, like, watch wrestling? We go to see wrestling, or I could wrestle. I feel like that one's more likely. Yeah. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl, but they'd have to be like, grrr. <laughs> because I don't even want to date someone who's not grrr. B's right there. Yep. So you're gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, and they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. <laughs> one, <laughs> one time I farted in front of the whole class. Ha ha ha. That's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh, God. One time in junior high, one time in high school, one time in college. I think I picked the last one, so which age group do you want to go with? Um, maybe college, because we haven't heard much about her from college. Yeah. One time at college, there was this cute girl I saw at the cafeteria. Like, a few times a week. I guess her schedule's lined up or something. Which is weird about college. It's like a little town. Is that me? Yeah. Cut to the chase. Jeez. Okay, so... I got up the nerve to talk to her. And I followed her out into the hallway. And I don't know why, but I shouted... Hey! And she turned around, and, and, and... All I could do was wave? Oof. This is funny. And, and, and... And then I turned around and tried to walk away all cool. But I ran into this door frame right behind me. And it hurt. And I staggered back and, and, and fell into the trash can outside the cafeteria. And my face went into trash spaghetti. Holy shit, dude. Continue. And I, like, flailed until the trash tipped over. <laughs> Jesus Christ, me. <laughs> and I got up and the girl had, had, had. She'd watched all of it. And I tried to give her this smile, like, I'd somehow meant to do that. But it turns out I swallowed some of the trash. Spaghetti. And, and, and... I puked all over myself. No wonder you <laughs> came home. Oh, shut up. Wow, that's messed up. I'm going to throw up. Thanks for nothing. You have to come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? <laughs> yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Ha ha ha. <laughs> kids. I hate everything right now. <laughs> Forget it. Let's go. Fucking May. Poor May. <laughs> she just wanted to talk to the cute girl. And instead she threw up trash spaghetti. That's about as bad as it gets. Oh, I thought I could land on that. Mm, so is this the realm of the dead? So like, ghosts ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but 
Yeah? So you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But like, did you ever see my mom? Yes or no? Hmm. I mean, as far as we've seen, I don't think we've seen her mom. Yeah, it's hard for us. Unless her mom ate us. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, I kind of want to say yes just because I want to know what the response would be to that. Say yes, then. It's hard to recognize, like, anyone. But you can get a sense of people. And I, uh, I'm pretty sure I saw her. Really? As far as I can tell. I just want to know she's somewhere. And okay. She's somewhere, B. And okay. Thanks. I don't know if you're just lying. Or you dreamed it. Or what. But even if you just made it all up. It was nice of you. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big-ass gate. Ugh. Why make a gate, a giant gate, in a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out? And stop whatever you're probably gonna do. Hmm. Yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost, I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out, I'll be back. I wouldn't call that Bruce brute force, but okay, B. Yeah, just a lot of hopping. She's a cat. She's just better at that. There's no way I'm gonna leave B behind. Ugh, Beatrice. Just learn to jump. Top of those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? You push. Uh. Maybe you can knock that branch off and, like, use the branch. This one? Yeah. Guess not. Maybe the other branch. Oops. Like, obviously you can hop up. I don't know if I can hop up onto that one. If you can get on that one, you probably can get up on the Oh, branch duh. There. Yeah. Yep. That's what hey, you're doing. There we go. <laughs> and why haven't you learned, May? <laughs> uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see? I told you you were good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find little Joe's grave. And if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. Maybe we can call this one and then we'll just continue from here. All right. That's good. With that, though, that brings us to the end of this episode. So thank you all for joining us for another episode of Not in the Woods. If you are enjoying it, make sure... <laughs> Eyes. Make sure that you subscribe so that as more episodes of this come out, you can be the first to know about them. And if you like the video, go ahead and like the video and check out the link to the coffee down below. Exactly. But until next time, bye. Bye. <laughs> it like froze on her eyes closed.